start it over again. Hi, this is Pam, and I'm making a video today about uh, a few things I bought. Excuse my room, it's a mess, because I've been going through clothes to give away. Um, I bought these jeans that I have on now. I paid $6.99 for them at the, where is this, Goodwill. And they fit perfectly. I mean, absolutely perfectly. And, see, um, they fit perfectly. And they are an 18. Um, excuse my stomach. It's, it is what it is. Uh, these I bought. I'll show you these. I bought. Where is it here? These are baby fat. And see, six dollars and ninety nine cents. Brand new jeans. Brand new. And except they're too small. And it's okay. They fit. I can get them up. But just getting them on is another thing i i don't think that would work you know i can't get them on i just can't um they're too they are too um too tight um hopefully one day soon i will be in them i look like maybe into march maybe um you know what's scary to me is that once I get a 16, I think I'll be happy. And I, I shouldn't feel like that. Because a 16 is still, you know, not small. But when you go from a 20, you know, at one time we're in a 26, 28, 30, 32. 16 is pretty damn small, you know. And so I, um, I don't want to get complacent with that and say, well, you know, I'm happy with how how i feel the clothes size i'm wearing and everything like that because honestly i am happy now i i can wear an 18 i you know everything i try on usually is an 18 i can get in a 16 if it's stretchy but who can't so um i'm just happy with the progress i'm making as of today as of this day and you know, I haven't had any issues yet. Um, when I get issues, I have problems. I do want to go. I do say I want to eat, but I don't. I will, you know, I'll do something else. I usually go shopping. This is my pajamas. I'm wearing my pajamas because it's bedtime. Well, it's not bedtime. It's just time for me to start relaxing for the day. I had a pair of pants a size 20 that I bought. Was it before? Or right at... No, it was before surgery. Before surgery. I think these are 20. They're, they're, used, they're supposed to have been deconstructed, deconstructed jeggings. It might have been a 20. I'm not sure because these are huge. And I should have gave them away uh, when I was giving this stuff to the the women's shelter. But you just hate to give away everything because I don't know. I mean, I I I don't plan on eating. I mean, eating that much to gain weight right now would be it was a twenty. And uh, it would be almost impossible because I don't eat that much. I don't have that much um, stomach room, you know. Where is it going to go? And even if I try to eat that much, I can't eat that much. So I'm just stuck at, you know, eating what I can eat. And I don't try to eat anything I can't eat, you know. I don't try to sneak in anything because who am I hurting? Me. I mean, I have this great tool and uh, why ruin it? 
Why ruin it for myself? I, it obviously works. Um, I know it won't work forever. I mean, you get the best bang for your buck in the first year. And after that, you know, it, it's much, much harder to lose weight. So what you're going to lose within the first nine months is what you're going to lose, really, you know, with the help of your tool. And that, and that we call that our tool because, okay, our stomach isn't as big as the next person's and we can't just eat anything we want. So, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty thrilled with it. I want to show you what my um, husband got me for Valentine's Day. I was really surprised. I came home. Well, actually, I was out at a um, resale shop. That's what I did today all day. And I got home. I, I got a call. And there's there's some flowers waiting for you at home from the the delivery person. They I guess they had my number. And so I came home and this is what was waiting for me. Here, wait. Let me... A little teddy bear and these beautiful flowers. Let me see if I can get them. I don't know if you can see them, but they are very, very pretty. Actually, these are the prettiest flowers I've ever had. You know, uh, from that from that florist, that is. Not ever, ever, but from that, I mean, every flower I get is pretty. Let me clean that up. Every flower I ever get is real pretty. And, um, but I think it was a very super sweet thing for him to do. And um, I'll do something for him, too, for Valentine's Day. I'll take him out for dinner. And, um, you know, he's been very, very nice to me. I, I, I can't say he hasn't because he's been very, very, very nice to me. And makes this whole thing that much easier because, you know, he doesn't stress me or... I, you know, he's always right there, my champion for this, like, always on my side, and to help me out, and anything I need, he's right there, so, um, I really appreciate him. See, I got my, uh, hair done, I got it cut and colored, um, I like it, I like it pretty much, I gotta get used to it, it's, it's more colors in my hair than I've had before, and, I don't know. I got to get used to it. I like it, though. It was better than it was because it was looking really rough there for a minute. This is my kitchen. Um, you want to see? My kitchen. Flowers. It's my ice machine. My, well, not mine. My brother's. My pictures on my wall. My signs. And i show you up here. This is my hutch. My collection of salt and pepper shakers. Um, my signs of the wall. Bird, bird things and my flowers. My dirt, my clean dishes. They're not dirty. Um, just what I do is I'm gonna make something over there. Uh, I have some plant. Uh, I clean. I'm cleaning up the basement. And boy, the things that you find when you clean up and you hadn't really cleaned for a while. Things when I moved here from another address, um, I had in the basement all um, packed up. And so I um, forgot about it. So when I went down there and cleaned it up, threw a lot of stuff out, I decided, I saw these flowers and these little flower like pots. They're little tiny ones. It's not for real plant, not for real stuff. It's just stuff that uh, had like fake flowers in it. You sit around for decoration. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, um, I'm going to make some um, plants. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna put and put them in the window. God knows I like to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, do that maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna see what um, see what I'm, I'm gonna cook dinner tomorrow. I'm gonna have uh, John over and my son John over and give him a meal because. Poor guy, he never gets any food, I don't think. I don't know if they, if if his wife ever cooks. I don't think so. She might, but I don't know. And, you know, I feel really bad for him because it's not healthy to eat junk food all the time. All you're going to do is end up fat unhealthy, high cholesterol, he already has high blood pressure, and, you know, so I told him, just come over to my house every week, uh, every Sunday, and you come over to my my house, and I'll cook you a meal on Sunday, because I have to eat anyway, you know, and I'm not going out to eat, because I used to eat out all the time, that's all I would do, is just eat out. Well, it doesn't pay me to eat out, really, because I can't eat enough. You know, I mean, whatever I order, if I get like half in, and it's not even half. I mean, if I get maybe um, less than half, um, it's good. You know, um, but <coughs> like for for instance, tonight. Well, not tonight. Yet today, I went to um, I went to um, this restaurant, and I had um, I had um, uh, what's it called, an omelet. I didn't even eat a third of it, and I didn't have potatoes. I told them no potatoes. No toast, no fruit, no nothing. Just, just, you know, whatever. You know, just, just the omelet. I was stuffed by the time I left there. And I didn't even bring the stuff home because I know I'm not going to eat it. So why would I even do that, you know? So, uh, excuse me, I'm playing with the serious. Um... So, um, it, it sometimes doesn't even pay for me to, I mean, I can eat a little bit and be just as full. So tomorrow I'm going to make, what am I going to make? I'm going to make a roast and I'm going to make, um, potatoes with a roast and carrots. I seem to make carrots all the time. All the time I make carrots and I'm going to make peas too because I want some peas. I have a taste for them and I want to make them some rice because they like rice. So, and I'm making my son a pie for Valentine's Day because I know he ain't going to come by. Well, he might because my brother will be in town, but, um, other than that, um, I'll cook every weekend, every Sunday for him anyway. I cook mostly every day, but I don't cook a whole lot of food. You know, I just cook, I have some, I have dumb stuff like Vienna sausages, you know, in the little can I have that with, with maybe crackers for dinner. And, or some soup, mainly soup I have, you know, um, hot dog every now and then I'll, I'll boil a hot dog and eat it without bread and maybe a vegetable, you know, but, um, I do what I do and it's all you can do is do what you do. And so anyway, I just want to make this little video and, you know, let you guys know how I'm doing. Remember I start off my weight loss journey at 257 pounds. And by the time I had surgery, I think I was at two, 
either 28 or 230 it might have been and now I'm at uh, 195 194 195 in the morning it's 194 or maybe even less tomorrow I don't know that's what it was this morning it was 194 and when I go to bed tonight when I weigh myself it will be at about I'm guessing 196 197 maybe maybe it depends on how much water I drink before you know because it always is a pound or two higher at night it just always is I don't know why but it is um what else was I gonna say um oh my blood sugar is between 75 and 80 so it's you know not diabetic for sure anymore um, kind of exciting thing about that is I'm going to go to get my eyes tested because my eyes are getting bad or these glasses need to be changed so I'm going to see you know since I'm not diabetic you know I'm just going to go to a regular place I'm not going to like I used to go you know so it's special doctors all that crap but anyways I'm going to end this video here and have a nice night and be safe bye